You guys, I have not been this excited for a new launch in a very long time. I have in my hands the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. I am so excited. I was very lucky to receive this from Influencer and Hourglass, and I can't wait to try this out. I was really excited when I heard that I was gonna be getting an Hourglass Mascara because if you've been watching my channel at all, you'll know that the Caution Extreme Mascara is like one of my favorites, certainly one of my top three, and I love it. So I was very excited to know more about this one. So if you wanna know more about this mascara too, and you'd like to see my first impressions on it, then let's get into it. Hourglass says that this mascara transform lashes with film forming technology that coats from root to tip for a high impact fanned out finish. That's like literally my dream mascara. Like that sounds like the perfect <laughs> mascara to me. So I'm very excited about this. Hourglass says that 100% uh, of testers said that it instantly lengthened lashes, 93% said it made eyes look more open, and 93% said it was smudge proof all day. Now, two things that I'm really excited about. Number one is when I went through looking at the instructions of this, I realized that this is a tubing mascara. At least it sounds a lot like a tubing mascara. So Hourglass says to remove splash warm water onto eyes, gently use fingers to slide mascara tubes from the lashes. So to me, that means that that's what this is gonna be, and I'm so excited. The other thing that I'm really excited about is that 5% of the profits from this mascara support the Non-Human Rights Project, and I will go ahead and give you a few details on that project at the end of this video if you are interested in learning more. I love a brand that really tries to help and supports platforms that they believe in, so I'm very excited to try this out, so why don't we go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes, and we'll try it on. Okay, so that was pretty successful. I did get a couple clumps on the outer corner of my lower lashes, which happens a lot. And what I like to do, especially with the tubing mascara, is you wanna get in there right away while it's wet to be able to pull out that clump. Because if you wait too long, you're gonna like disturb the encapsulation of that mascara. So um, that is one tip from me to you guys. Now, the one thing that I'm not quite sure is how to go about like layering this mascara. I don't see anything on the card that I was sent, so I'm not sure if with a tubing mascara, A, if you're really meant to layer it, or B, if you should do it while your lashes are still wet, or if you should wait until the mascara is fully dry and then go through that way. So I'm just going to very gently try to get a little bit of extra on the tips of my lashes here. All right, so let me zoom you guys in so you can see up nice and close. Hopefully you guys are able to see here, I meant to just do a very like neutral shadow look to not distract from the mascara, which didn't happen obviously, but um, I'm trying out a brand of eyeshadows that I've been wanting to try for a very long time. So I got a little crazy. So uh, that review, by the way, will be coming very soon. But I have to say, I really like the looks of this. Um, it is really just that like lengthened, stretched out lash. So if you want something that's super, super volumized, I don't think this is gonna be the mascara for you. I'm very impressed with how black it is. My lashes definitely have some nice length and definition to them. I don't know if you guys will be able to even see here. I think the big thing for me is gonna be seeing how this wears and how it removes. That's one thing that I really enjoy about encapsulating mascaras is that usually they are budge proof and that they come off easily because in the summertime, especially on the lower lash line, it's so nice to have something that you don't have to worry about smearing if you get hot and sweaty outside. It's also great if it comes off without having to use like a jackhammer to get it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the other eye and then we'll zoom out for final thoughts. All right, so here we have the final look. I do have to say I decided to be brave and try to build up one more coat of this mascara and it worked really nicely. I would say that like going through with a quick sweep and not like moving the brush is gonna be important because the more you rub, the more those like encapsulated tubes will be more likely to sort of start budging. So I just went through with like one like whoosh, very quickly and it really helped build up the volume. Now, just some thoughts on this. I think that the brush is great. 
um, it has very, very tiny bristles on it and it's more of that like rubberized mascara one. So if you are one who likes the more like long standard bristles, you're not going to enjoy this, but I've never found an encapsulation mascara that really had that type of bristle. This is normally pretty common. So what I'll do is of course wear this for the rest of the day and when I wash it up tonight, I'll go ahead and leave a pinned comment down below letting you guys know my experience. I just wanted to get this out as soon as possible to let you guys know in case you're as excited as I am about this. So I wanna give a big thank you to Hourglass and Influencer for gifting me with this mascara to try. And just so that you guys know, I probably should have said this at the beginning, but this is not sponsored in any way. I have, of course, got this complimentary, but I'm not like getting paid to do this video or anything like that. So I just wanted to make that clear. And again, when I was doing my research on this mascara, I found that it's listed on the Hourglass website already, but not on Sephora. So when I put up this video, I will go ahead and link down below wherever I can find this mascara in case you guys are excited to try it. So I hope you guys found this review helpful. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos, including the one on this eye look. And thank you guys again for hanging out with me and supporting my channel. I also wanted to give you guys a little bit of information on the Non-Human Rights Project because that is where 5% of the profits of this mascara go. So I wanted to read you a little bit of the information off of the project's website. It says, we work to secure fundamental rights for non-human animals through litigation, legislation, and education to change the common law status of great apes, elephants, dolphins, and whales from mere things which lack the capacity to possess any legal right to legal persons who possess such fundamental rights as bodily liberty and bodily integrity to draw on the common law and evolving standards of morality, scientific discovery, and and human experience to consider other qualities that may be sufficient for recognition of non-human animals legal personhood and fundamental rights to foster understanding of the social historical political and legal justice of our arguments and the scientific discovery of other species cognitive and emotional complexity that informs them so there's a little bit on the non-human rights project. Now, I know I always like to have some information on the charities or programs that my money is going towards. So thanks so much for watching this review. I am very excited about this mascara. I can't wait to keep trying it out. Let me know in the comments below if you are excited to pick this one up. I'll see you guys really soon.